so today is uh, more of an introductory lecture i just want to kind of uh, give you a brief about what we are going to actually do in the next 7 months the course starts on 7th jan but i wanted to start today's talk and just give you an idea about how you can kind of uh, really go to the next level okay so the structure of uh, the lecture is as for as um, forward i am going to tell you the case in short and um, towards the end of the case i generally like to ask all the participants what could be the possible remedy with their analysis and you can write that on the webinar chat and then i try to share whatever i prescribe to the patient after that we we try to study the remedy in detail as much as we can and then towards the end we try to do a little differential diagnosis so this is the kind of structure for the lecture that i do i will be taking the lectures every friday so you should remember fridays would possibly the be the day that i would be taking the lectures okay so we start the talk for today i'm going to tell you the case in short and then we will start with the analysis so this is a case of urticaria in a 3 year old boy okay a 3 year old child and how we can analyze this case <clears throat> so this is the situation of the child if you can see here um kind of uh, very very carefully you can see the swelling the urticarial swelling the wheels uh, on the on the forehead on the temples here you can see huge swelling this is a huge urticaria okay here you can see again are you able to see this are you able to see this urticarial patch on the forehead i hope you can and also on the leg you can see very 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 kind of you can see very very difficult the entire kind of urticarial sudden acute urticarial rash sudden and the family the parents they just don't know what to do the allopathic doctors would keep on giving antihistaminics to the patient and their family and they come from a very simple middle class family in mumbai uh, to see me in my clinic in mumbai so let's try to study the case so i try to ask the questions the child obviously um, doesn't talk much so we we try to take the observations of the parents <clears throat> so the family says that the urticaria is there for last 3 months they are red swelling lot of itching and especially it started after eating a lot of a uh, kind of fast food or after eating kurkure okay. most of the time this this urticaria is especially on the legs and this urticaria what what the parents observe as a pattern is especially more after eating oily food after eating non veg after eating fried food or when they when he gets up from the school when he eats a kind of uh, indian food item called as moong dal generally when it starts it starts in one area it remain in that area only but then gradually it does spread sometimes it spreads sometimes it doesn't he also develop lot of like motion sickness while traveling in the car like this lot of nausea lot of motion sickness
what are the physical symptoms the child especially loves all junk food typical junk food a typical child typical child staying in in india likes fried food likes fish likes chicken huh? thoughts they generally less uh, remains constipated sweat typically on the scalp is a very very hot patient and sleep is less although like to sleep on the abdomen more often the sleep is very acute which means that there is sudden noise and he's because noise is something that he is not able to tolerate so he's sleeping in sudden noise huh very sensitive to noise especially shrieking noise shrill noise i asked a little bit and i try to observe him you know he's he's fairly restless he's just moving about here and there he's trying to touch things in the clinic like this i try to understand i try to ask the parents i try to ask the mother especially in a child's case more than the father ask the mother the fathers unfortunately and there are exceptions but generally a mother is a better option to ask in a child's case okay so i try to ask can you tell me something about a child so my friend dr kedar writes so rainam kedar that is the first lesson for today don't jump to a remedy don't see something and jump to a remedy yes the name of the remedy may come in your mind but you know you have to learn to keep your horses in check okay hold on to your horses as the great english authors would often say hold on to your horses apne ghodon ko sambhal ke rakho so first try to understand the entire case understand what is the main central thing in the case what is the portrait of the disease and then try to find the remedy aise hi nahi okay skin problem this this so i know this is why i wanted all of you to study with me and we can all study and learn from each other in this course that we are trying to develop for all of you so i hope kedar that towards the end of the uh, course your way of thinking will change and i am 100% sure your way of thinking will change god willing so about the child i asked the mother can you tell me something more about the child and says that he is very talkative bahut baat karta hai he keeps talking bang 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 he talks a lot and he is very very ziddi very very obstinate if we tell him something he will not listen he will just say no i want this i want this i want this very sensitive also very emotional things can affect him a lot he question a lot he ask question why is this like this why is like that like that Hmm. Then I ask, okay, tell me a little bit more. So this is very important, you know. In the case taking, you have to take pauses. You have to understand. You have to listen to the patient. Make notes. It's very important, you know. When I take history, very often, I try to take a pen. I try to take a paper. I will make notes, or sometimes I'll make notes in my mind. Cha, ye bhi hai. Okay, the child has urticaria. Uh mm huh. -hmm. is a little loquacious he cannot tolerate noise too much mm -hmm. let's see how the portrait is evolving so i'm trying to kind of you know evolve the portrait trying to explore um, the person this is what i'm trying to do so it's a very very slow gradual process this is classical homeopathy my dear friends in some cases you have to do opposite also you have to see okay this is the peculiar this is it this is the remedy that also i will teach you but pehle aap classical homeopathy to seekho first learn this then i ask okay tell me what are his main fears what are the main fears that you have seen about the child so the mother tells if someone scold him he doesn't like it he doesn't like it at all and he is very very scared of noise we don't know noise and he is scared very sensitive to shrill noise <coughs> noise very very sensitive to noise sudden noise loud noise <coughs> noise 
so this is something that she kind of repeats no this is no doctor is very very sensitive to noise doctor very scared of darkness and typically the mother says of insects any kind of insects any kind of animals he very scared dar jata no no very scared i ask can you tell me a little bit about the anger what are the things that you are angry about thoda batao especially anger about small things smallest thing he'll get angry and typically if he want something he wants that thing i want so i want i want i want chahiye mujhe chahiye 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 i want it if he want he want it if he is not given he can get very angry he can bite he can strike hey hey he can do anything and he gets angry he can get violent see now we are trying to kind of build a portrait dekho see how we are doing it slowly gradually my teacher would often tell me it is like taking a needle and and putting it in a banana it has to be so smooth like this that's the way of case taking case taking is a process very slow very gradual step by step dheere dheere pyar se with a lot of love a lot of affection you have to do the case taking very gradually listen listen listen, listen. a listener you have to be a very beautiful listener then i asked what about interest hobby what he like to do he says he loves playing he is very playful always playing always restless he can't be in one place very 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 restless i said what he loves doing he loves fighting with father he loves fighting no 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 fighting acha in family history his father had diabetes and in the past history was a history of lot of loose motions or diarrhea we try to understand more i try to ask questions about now i try to focus at mother's history during pregnancy mother's history during pregnancy is a very very important part in homeopathy then i give a lot of importance to many many difficult cases um of that i'm seeing in mumbai i'm seeing cases across the world now cases of autism adhd difficult 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 cases of children it's very important to understand the mother's history during pregnancy very often the state that the mother has during pregnancy is often passed on to the child very often the in some cases i've seen the mother and child to be the same remedy but not in all cases sometimes so you have to understand this aspect so your focus should be number one on what was her state during pregnancy how was her state of mind what was the craving what was the aversion what were the peculiarities you would want to know that more or less a lot of acidity the mother had during pregnancy a lot of nausea vomiting lot of craving for fried typically i ask her was there any stress she says no nothing like that so i make a note of that yeah so this is the case in short it's a long case actually the cases that i am telling you i'm just trying to kind of shorten the case and tell you the most important probably summary of the case because i want to also teach you the remedy that i kind of talk to you about yeah so i'm just going to give you a short summary of the case so my question to you and you can write your analysis in the webinar chat zoom chat in this case what would be a possible remedy you think and why chalo so there are some suggestions here i'm going to read up some people's name 
we have uh, reena kothi foda who suggests phosphorus tripti singh verma who says belladonna pooja fk who says uh, keridion himani nayar who says uh, fear of darkness okay anu jain palsatella uh, dr haresh heri zubia belladonna lk sharma okay says calcarea arsenicosum sri saundarya says ignatia robin how are you robin says belladonna svetlana says in sex abu bakar kaise ho abu bakar ji from pakistan sulfur dian mailar says epis vidhi says belladonna so many many suggestions here Francois, my friend from France, how are you doing? Also suggests Theridia. Bharat Purohit, how are you, Bharat? He suggests um, Belladonna. Okay, Maya, how are you, Maya from Russia? She says it could be Calcarea carbonicum. Uh, Kureshi Zainab says antimony crude. Astha Agarwal says natrium muriaticum. Christopher Rosio. says lacases prerana chawan says pulsatella so many 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 suggestions are huh? here yeah. okay so good thoughts i like the fact that we have a very very enthusiastic group in our this course isn't it so how to analyze now so what i do i will just i just want to take you step by step into this when i take a case okay and there are so many many things here so i when i take a case i don't jump to a remedy i don't think okay this could be this remedy i don't try to think that straight away what i try to do is i try to form a portrait of the disease this is very important this is what master hanuman said form a portrait of the disease or you can form a kind of a totality what are the things that you want in the case what do you see in the case it's like a small summary of the case that yes this should be there in the remedy i want to teach you step by step and there is no kind of a you know there is no quick fix there is no shortcut this is the first thing i want to tell you my dear friends in the advanced course i want to tell you there is no shortcut to homeopathy aisa hai nahi there is no shortcut you have to learn step by step only hmm? so what is the main story here so it's a case of urticaria okay? in a case of child which started after eating some food some you know junk food whatever it is there <clears throat> we try to go a little deep what is the thing about urticaria what is the thing about him now we try to understand him as a person what is the main thing we see about him so first thing we see that he is very sensitive isn't it very sensitive that's peculiar that he is very sensitive but what is he sensitive to typically sensitive to noise and to typically shrill noise yes yes he is very talkative very restless he is even scared of noise sometimes loud noise he can't tolerate he also has motion sickness no motion sickness what else what else can you tell me about the child any other peculiarity yes he is always likes to play he's very playful child he is very scared of insects yes that's right of darkness right sometimes he can get very angry very violent isn't it yeah this is the totality this is the entire totality that we have so the remedy that we give my dear friends have to have this they want to lie on optimal okay sure fine on optimal so now in this case no these are all the symptoms okay now the next important thing post the portrait of the disease this is the next kind of step okay 
I'm trying to take, teach you step by step. The next step is evaluation order. What is evaluation order? Evaluation order means which is the most intense symptom? Which is the most intense symptom? Which is a symptom that you want to take first in the report weekly in your totality? That this has to be there. Are you understanding this step by step how we are trying to understand? Say yes. If you're understanding how we are taking the case in depth, then we are forming a portrait, then we are going to portrait of disease. This is the way out. <clears throat> yeah. Just understand this kind of step by step. And I hope you're understanding chronology here. Chronology of the way in which we are going. My friend Nicholas from uh, Switzerland. How are you, Nicholas? So what is the main thing here? Now I want to, I want to look at the most intense symptom in this case, which is the most intense symptom, how to decide which is the first symptom you want to take. Generally, the first symptom should be something which is very individual, something which is very central to the case. And it can be different in different cases. What I may take here may be different to what I take somewhere else. This is very important that the evaluation order will change from case to case because it is very, very individual. So the most important thing for me in this case is his individual symptom. What is the individual symptom? Something which is very central to him. And that is his very deep sensitivity. Sensitivity to noise. Because that's something that the mother keeps talking about repetitively. Something that the patient's mother says repetitively is something that you want to give a lot of importance to. For sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's try to take this. So we'll now try to. Now, this is the next step. What is the next step? The next step. Okay. Oh. The next step is. The next step is conversion of patient's language into rubrics. Anu Jain asked me, why don't you take fried food? Why don't you take fried food? But you know, Anu, almost 99.99% children like fried food. How is it an individual thing? How will I take that as an individual thing? If someone likes fried food, would you take that as the main thing? Especially a child in today's times. Yes. If a patient says that, oh, that's a very strong craving, then you can take. But if someone just says, okay, I like it. You can't take that. Next, the patient's relative said that, okay, everything started after, possibly after eating, but I was having a slight urticaria before also. So it is not very intense. So you should know which symptom to take first. So what did I take? How to now convert patient language into rubric? So let's see. Huh? First rubric, very sensitive. Very, very sensitive. Yeah? Very, very sensitive to noise. First rubric. But what type of noise are we looking at? Very loud noise. Yeah. Very, very loud noise. Yeah. Typically very, very shrill. <coughs> Shrill noise, huh? shrill sound, almost as if they penetrate inside. The next symptom, next symptom is the child. And this is something that you observe about the child. The child is very loquacious. Yes. The next symptom that you see is a restless, is very, very restless. And the next interesting symptom is that we can take is that especially has a kind of a motion sickness. So you can take nausea, nausea while writing. 
nausea riding cars or whatever riding car or something do you see this and if you want you can take one more symptom if you want is that he can get very 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 wild right you can take this also so if you see now this is the repertory sheet for me i can take many more rubrics but this is the most central thing for me in the repertory sensitive to noise which is loud shrill almost going inside very talkative at times very restless playful has motion sickness this is very strange you know this is almost like a like a symptom which is away from the pathology having motion sickness is not something that that has anything to do with urticaria so this is you have to you have to understand you have to learn why and when to kind of look at these kind of symptoms okay which repertory i use this is i'm using a complete repertory okay and now you can see very beautifully very very beautiful you can see the repertory sheet showing you the remedy the very beautiful remedy heridium this is the this is the corner store of classical homeopathy taking the symptom taking step by step the symptom analyzing it and then finding the exact remedy that matches through and through so beautiful no now there is a very interesting question that why didn't you take urticaria i can take urticaria but more important than urticaria in this case see in every case it is different try to understand in every case it is different in this case in this individual case the intensity of sensitivity to noise is much higher than any other pathological rubric so i take the rubric eruption urticaria also if i want to but it doesn't matter if 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 theridion is there or no so if you see the rubric urticaria theridion is not there but it doesn't matter and you will see that in the result so you have to know that that a remedy not being there in the pathological rubric doesn't mean that you cannot take that remedy you have to evaluate does the does the remedy match the patient and if it matches through and through then even if the pathological rubric doesn't match because pathological rubric is basically formed by a few homeopaths now they may not have seen in their experience or it must not have come in a very small proving that might have happened that does not mean that that remedy does not have that kind of exponential kind of way of approach yes so this is what it is so we found the remedy very beautiful remedy heridion you can see here and what happened let's see what happened so once i found that now i want to decide what potency should i give in these type of cases generally generally in these type of cases what i try to do i give one dose wait and watch so the the remedy that i gave is theridion and i gave 200 c this is the potency i chose theridion 200 c someone asked me why constitutional is acute okay kiran jor kor asked this this is not acute case the patient is having urticaria for more than 3 4 months if it's not an urticaria that's happening since 2 3 hours or 4 to 5 days okay so theridion 200 c what i do is what what we what we what we call as a split dose what we do is we take four pills we give it two times a day for two days this is a approach which was started by a very famous bengali homeopath called as b n chakraborty one of the greatest homeopaths of uh, this era from uh, west bengal he used to use this approach and after that many homeopaths are using this approach it's called as a split dose this is what i use in acute and what happened after theridion within a month of theridion Okay, I just give one dose, and we follow up. The frequency of intensity of the urticaria beautifully reduced, almost close to ninety percent. It has gone. He's much, much better. Much, much, much better. The state of mind, etc., beautifully improved. Um, he's now uh, kind of 
more comfortable to be with people and things like that. His appetite comparatively is okay. His thirst is almost the same. But beautiful change with his approach. And you can see, if you can see here, just with one dose of Heridion, and this is the beauty of homeopathy, plain gentlemen. You can see here the situation before of the arteria of his forehead, of the entire swelling, just with one dose of urticaria. And you can see how beautifully the urticaria is totally, totally, totally embellished with help of finding the exact remedy. This is classical homeopathy, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I want you to learn. You can see some more photos. It's now almost been close to uh, about one year that uh, we just gave one dose. We waited for a month and two. And after that, urticaria went away. We didn't require to kind of frequently prescribe Heridion at all. We just gave a dose. That's about it. And you can see how beautifully uh, urticaria was improved. You can see the smile on his face. Isn't it interesting? Isn't it beautiful to see such kind of results with homeopathy? And especially finding the exact remedy for the patient. Isn't it an amazing feeling? Say yes. All right. So this is what it is. Um, why did I choose 200? We are going to have a special talk on potency, follow-ups. So many of your questions. Today is the first day. So... Uh, you have to, we are going to teach you step by step everything. But generally, in generally, in cases where physical symptoms are prominent and, and mental symptoms are also there, but not that much, then I, one of the first potency I use is 200. But when the mind symptoms are very, very strong, then I try to use 1M potency. So this is how I differentiate. All right. This is a little bit about how to differentiate 200 and uh, one importance for you. Okay. So, Lane gentlemen, we are going to talk about Theridion. Theridion Cursavicum orange spider. It's a spider remedy, Lane gentlemen. Now, in the next 30 odd minutes, I want to share with you uh, a little bit about the remedy Theridion. And I also want to now tell you. Uh, about how I want you to gradually study Materia Medica. How to study Materia Medica. That's what I want to do. Kind of gradually now develop. Karenge? So what I want to talk to you about Theridion, what is the main things about Theridion? The main thing about Theridion is that they are very, they like to be busy. It's a spider remedy. They want to be busy all the time, constantly busy. There is a rubric in, in, in the repertory. It's called as fruitlessly busy. What is the meaning of fruitlessly busy? How to differentiate industrious fruitlessly busy and activity. They are all three different things. Huh? This is what is understanding or decoding mental rubric. What is fruitlessly busy? Fruitlessly busy means they just want to do something without actually kind of getting a result. Fruitlessly. Fruitlessly. Means without getting the fruit of the work that you are doing. Doing. Fruitless. What is the word? What is the meaning of the rubric industrious? Industrious comes from the word industry. What is industry? In industry, raw products go in and, and a finished product come out. So industrious means you when you work and there is a very strong result that comes out. That is industrious. What is activity? Activity typically denotes more of physical activity. It means something to do, something to do with physical energy. That is physical activity. So in this way, you can differentiate activity desire for busy and uh, industrious. I have explained about all these different, different rubrics, almost close to 500 rubrics in the book, Decoding Mental Rubrics, which I launched um, about now three years back. It, is, it will be available in discounted rate 
for all the participants of the course today so very very fruitlessly busy teridion dekho very cheerful people hysterically cheerful means they are over cheerful over happy why why are you so happy bas khush ho aise cheerful hysterical okay very restless restless busy it's a very important remedy even for climactric don't think that if i taught you a case of theridion of a child doesn't mean it can be used in adults restlessness in climactric it's a very important female remedy theridion also has a state of of a state of a kind of fragility a little bit a little bit a little bit of feeling like thuja as if they are brittle as if bones are brittle a particular type of dream that i've seen almost in every case of theridion that that i want to tell you about is dreams of teeth breaking out this is also there in thuja also there in kali nitricum they constantly get the dream that my teeth are breaking the teeth are falling out very beautiful very loquacious very loquacious loquacious with hilarity so they'll be very talkative with laughing <laughs> or kya <laughs> loquacity with hilarity loquacity when excited so they are normally you know they like to be busy but if you kind of incite them you talk to them oh what's happening with the political parties in india acha about political parties i will just tell you this is this 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 so when you excite them they will go to another level one very beautiful symptom that i have seen with theridion is that they like to stroke their hair like this there was a girl who i was treating um was a case of frequent cough okay and her main symptom was that she constantly would like to stroke her hair like this and play with her fingers so there is a very beautiful rubric gesture stroke her hair desired there are probably two remedies chocolate if i am not wrong and theridion but theridion is a very very beautiful remedy so the very very playful in childhood the theridion is very very playful very very restless but later when he becomes an adult this playfulness goes to another level because he sees theridion sees everything like a game like a competitiveness he sees like you know i want to make money this is gambling okay i'll put money here booking betting sattebazi stock market it becomes like this and the central line of theridion remains very very over sensitive to noise loud noise mechanical noise even cars you know if the car is going like this they'll do like this theridion ah! acha theridion even ringing of bells tang tang theridion they will often tell you the doctor when this noise come na it is almost as it's penetrating through my head it goes through my teeth ah theridion they love singing they love singing sing desires to cheerfully joyously they love singing a lot so the music you know it being a spider remedy music is something that they love the only difference with theridion and tarantula i have seen is that theridion is not very keen about dancing as compared to tarantula this is a very important differentiation and the other thing that you will see in a little adult uh, theridion is that they are often a little confused they are little confused about decisions they are little irresolute and they are sometimes dependent on another person there is a very beautiful rubric which i show you i will try to show you yes delusion head belongs to another it's a very interesting rubric it almost means as if you know they cannot think with their own head and as if sometimes they have to think with someone else's head they take decision based on someone else's head 
delusion head belongs to another like alumina interesting no isn't it interesting the entire pattern of understanding this remedy hello where are you guys delusion head belongings to another but what it means basically is as if a feeling as if your head you cannot use your own head you are using someone else's head head of someone whom you are dependent on to take your own decision this is the meaning of the rubric delusion head belongs to one this is a little bit like alumina they can't take their own decisions yeah you can see another rubric of heredion confusion as to their own identity They, they they are very confused about their own self, and that's why theridion comes as a very interesting close remedy to as uh, a remedy alumina. Another dream that you will see in theridion is dreams of horses. This also shows the speed of theridion. They like to do things fast. Time passes too slowly. Yeah. So interesting, no? It's such a beautiful remedy. so now what i am going to do is i am going to tell you i am going to tell you step by step which books you should read to understand a remedy okay so i try to i try to i try to tell you remedies i try to tell you um, a kind of um, books that i want you to read and then the remedies and how to read okay and how to read step by step materia medica how i studied materia medica i'll tell you there are basically you know two ways of reading materia medica and i try to do both in my studies one way is you should take one book okay one book one materia medica book for example let's say tyler tyler's materia medica you can take one book and you can decide that okay in the next two weeks i am going to finish the entire book so that is one technique the other technique is a technique that i want you to follow is a technique where you take one remedy let's say theridion and you try try to read theridion from different different materia medica books allen's keynote kent nash tyler borick patak dr sankaran soul of remedy who is my teacher and my beloved teacher dr vithulka's writings again which i like like a lot mofi like that step by step okay that's that's another way so what i now try to do is how to study and what to study in the materia medica that's what i try to tell okay so the first book that i tell you to read from is my favorite book and the book that you should know pit pat line by line you should know this remedy line by line you know just today i saw one very beautiful case this was a case i i saw from um, from switzerland actually so what i what i what I, what happened was this there was this very very thin emaciated lady lady who had glaucoma okay and very very thin emaciated lady and very very dried up she had totally dried up are you with me very dried up very emaciated women with glaucoma she feels very very anxious she feels very very scared in 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 narrow rooms very claustrophobic a woman who wants to do everything very very fast very very hurried very very nervous in front of people has stage fright yeah and so beautifully the entire story is written uh, in our allen's keynote um uh in the remedy um Argentum nitricum, just the second line. See how beautifully they have written. Always think of Argentum nitricum on seeing a withered, dried-up, old-looking patient. And then the entire case came out to be so beautiful of um, Argentum nitricum. 
so there is a such a such a amazing book of allen's keynote you have to read this book step by step and you have to learn how to read this it's a very very beautiful book i am telling you you will fall in love with materia medica repertory and organ on you will forget all christmas new year diwali holi eid everything you will forget this homeopathy itself is so beautiful you will fall in love <laughs> isn't it amazing so now we try to study the remedy theridion okay i try to i cannot teach you all the books but i try to give you a little idea okay so you can see theridion different different symptoms it's written orange spider then every symptom you have to read like this what is written you see one line written here vertigo on closing the eyes can you see this now you can see here out of the entire line you can see what i go on closing the eyes this is written in in bold italics now that means this is very important symptom this is taken from allen's encyclopedia and it is very very bold which means it came in the proving again and again so when you read allen's you should see which is written in very very bold so what i go on closing eyes is a very important symptom and then in bracket it is written lachesis and thuja so these two remedies i have also have this what i go on opening the eyes is there in tobacco on looking upward is there in pulsatile and silica then vertigo from any even slightest noise meniere's disease so this is how you know uh, allen's explain the remedy again he has written in bold every sound seems to penetrate through whole body and causes nausea and vertigo okay so like that you have to read every rem every indication of all the remedies okay it's this theridion is a very beautiful remedy for tuberculosis of the lung and even tuberculosis of the bone okay many many great homeopaths have treated it you can so there are some words which are words of old homeopaths you have to understand in today's language like it's written thysis florida often effects of cure if given in early stages of disease dekho likha hai it's written in scrofulosis Where best selected remedy failed to relieve. Really. Scrofulosis means anywhere where there is a bit of a, like a glandular enlargement, there is a tuberculosis, there is some kind of a swelling somewhere, and it's written relationship follows well after calcarea and light. This relationship line is also very important. So this is how you study Allen's schema. Are you with me? Say yes. very beautiful allen's keynote is my absolute favorite book the way they have compared remedies just yesterday i saw one very beautiful case again from europe and it was a case of a child typically you know many remedies were given to this child who had lot of cough and antim tart was given but it was not helping so when antim tart is indicated but antim tart does not help i have told this many times but which is the remedy it is written in the relationship of antim tart so if you read antimony tart yes you can read antimony tart relationship you can see its relationship here of antim tart you can see very nice indication children not easily impressed when antim tart seem indicated in cough require hepar so if you are treating cases of children who are getting lot of cough and you feel it is antim tart but antim tart is not helping give hepar sir very beautifully it helps so this is this is the whole beauty of allen's you know i absolutely love it i go to west bengal calcutta the home of uh, allen's key notes key notes every year i go there i meet all my dear 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 people who are like family for me dr shubhash singh from uh, nih dr lm khan dr shortcor so many many people huh? and uh, i spend time with them and there is a deep connection between us so this is about allen's keynote 
the next important book for me very beautiful book and my favorite book one of my favorite favorite books is the book bogar sign of tikki i love this book what a book it's it's an amazing 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 book i think bogar to an extent really kind of you know took homeopathic material medica and repertory to next level i just love the way he analyzes so you can see here first thing that bogar has written about and i hope you can see the screen and you can see bogar synoptic key say yes so i know that you you can see the screen yes you can okay all right so you can see the sphere of action of theridion here the first word is nerve so it's a very important nervous remedy action on the spine you remember the spine is very very sensitive of theridion bones action on the left side left side of the chest there is a piercing pain tuck which is the other remedy pix liquida which is the other remedy see pix liquida another remedy anis another remedy myristus communis you should know like this at the end of 7 months i want all of you to be masters of materia medica repertory and organon okay all we have about roughly about 570 people who have just joined this course for now and uh, we have about 1000 seats and and there will be 1000 people towards the end of the course i want all 1000 people all of you to go to the next level and really take homeopathy and really help so many people that we can all together change the idea of health science across india across the world what do you think yes we will god willing worse see now modality is coming so there is sphere of action then modalities dekho modalities dekho worse by noise worse by touch worse by closing eyes worse by least motion worse by riding worse by char and better by rest and better by warm dekho सो ब्यूटीफुल ना कितना खूबसूरत है ये देन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द फर्स्ट टू और थ्री लाइन्स ऑफ बोगर एक्सप्लेन द एंटायर रेमेडी इन अ क्रक्स हाइपर सेंसिटिव noise is insufferably penetrating affects the teeth causes nausea chill pains all over striking painful spots etc so if there is a man who is getting who has an ulcer on the foot there is a noise tha and there is pain in the ulcer this is also theridion so beautiful no how bogar explains and in the end he writes etc yeah he has written pain at the end of left floating ribs so there are certain ribs which are called as floating ribs dekho heridion so interesting no? there is a very beautiful rubric in in kent and in complete cough jerks the body together which means if when they are coughing their whole body jerks oh 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 their whole body is jerking dekho heridion and here very nicely bogar writes related to asaram asaram also has that sensitivity are you understanding dekho how beautiful bogar have explained are so beautiful bogar synoptic key aap padho try to read this book ha huh? very very beautiful i am telling you by the end of today's talk you will totally fall in love with materia medica repertory and organon you will say that i have fallen in love again this is what it is and the good thing about this love is that this love actually will not betray you it will not cheat you and it will not go away it will remain it will remain till the time you are
little philosophical a huh? life lesson <laughs> although i am not the right person to give life lessons but anyway <clears throat> okay let's go ahead let's go ahead. so after allen's keynote and after boger the next book i want you to read is nash nash materia medica nash leaders in homeopathic therapeutics with grouping and classification my teacher uh, dr vijay vaishnav who taught me materia medica in my college days he would often tell me you know he would say this in hindi but i go to i'm going to translate it for english for you जो नहीं पड़ेगा नैश उसका होगा सत्या नैश सो अमेजिंग नो यू वुड से दैट यू नो नैश शुड बी योर बेड टाइम स्टोरी बुक लेट्स सी व्हाट हाउ नैश एक्सप्लेन्स थे रेडियो चलो लेट्स सी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल सो व्हाट नैश डज इज इट काइंड ऑफ गिव्स द सिम्टम्स इन द बिगनिंग एंड देन इट ट्राइज टू काइंड ऑफ यू नो compare all the different different remedies for example he gives a very interesting symptom here let me show you the another symptom that seems very uh, valuable in chest affection is pain that runs pain that runs through the uh, upper um, the upper left chest to shoulder so like this thysis florida has been cured if given early this is like myristis communis in which i have helped in many cases having the same local symptom but the other remedies also is sulfur pix liquida and anisum steteltum so interesting no how he has differentiated so this is nash it's a beautiful book in one page he explains the entire kind of um, materia medica so this is the next book so allens boger nash after that after that the next book that i uh, recommend you and i'm just giving you a little idea okay i can't i can't read for you the entire book or else we will have to remain awake till entire night will you remain awake till entire night you are watching the webinar right now your entire family your father your mother your girlfriend your boyfriend your husband your wife your children they must be looking at you and saying what are you doing who is this man who is this man who is talking like you know a mad man who is talking and why are you listening to him <laughs> they would be looking at you what are you doing they'll go crazy if you listen to me the entire night okay the next very important book for me and and many people don't talk very highly about it but i am a, a kind of a you know a total romantic guy so i know that the romance that kent writes in a in a remedy is is not comparable i think kent brought he writes the description in such a way it's very romantic the way he writes it every remedy so we'll try to try to read uh, teridion from kent and we'll try to see how he kind of gives a picture of um, of of um, teridion and how he explains teridion in a very very beautiful way it's written very nicely the hysterical sensitivity see the word he uses the hysterical sensitivity with extreme aggravation from noise motion and exertion marks this remedy as unique dekho beautiful i'm telling you you know this is such a beautiful 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 book have you ever read what he writes in populus dekho populus mein dekho how he writes kent writes huh? just see how beautifully he writes he is writing that all the nervous impressions are very slow in populus if you pinch this patient on the great toe to he waits for a minute and says oh instead of doing it at once which means that if you go to a coculus patient and if you pinch him like this 
he will not understand that you have pinched he, it will take him 2 to 5 minutes and then he will say uh so everything becomes slow so this is the way very descriptively kent has given what to say isn't it a so lovely and you know a lot of ideas of uh, dr george vikul vithul kas have come from kentian material medical and kentian writings so it's something that i i very highly rate the kentian writings as well although i also rate many other uh, uh, writings also but kent is very top for me okay don't listen to people who say kent is bakwas kent is is there is a class to read kent okay okay let's go to the next the next the next and and someone who i spent a uh, half of my internship with dr ml tyler homeopathic drug pictures by dr margaret lucium tyler what a lady huh there are a few women homeopaths who i am very inspired by ml tyler elizabeth hubbard margery blackie some fantastic homeopaths and their writing you know they are just absolutely phenomenal and that's why i wanted to read this book you know it's very beautiful what tyler does it is she try to she try to take a lot of ideas from different different authors and put it into a book and like I, that's why i like this book a lot someone writes catherine coulter also catherine coulter is okay but catherine coulter is not of the same class as ml tyler just remember this i do not like to uh, not read uh, a book but ml tyler and kent are of different class i hope you know what i mean okay so let's see tyler tyler drug picture let's see he very beautiful the way he explains huh? she explains it very very beautifully the entire remedy and towards the end of it she starts talking about what different authors say what does clark say what does borick say what does nash say so if you don't want to read too many books a shortcut although i don't want you to do shortcut okay is tyler interesting no i like a lot i like i like the way she writes a lot one of my favorite thing uh, whenever you read tyler for me and you can read different different remedies here i'll i'll give you another example here maybe let's say tarantula tarantula from tyler and you can see very nicely she gives something called as black letter symptoms what is black letter symptom these are symptoms which are solid symptom they are something that are being clinically verified so she gives like that for tarantula so this is something that you want to read okay and like that she gives for different different remedies so this is about tyler another of my favorite favorite book is adolf von lippi the red line keynotes of materia medica what a book what a book <laughs> what an absolute absolute joy to read this book so this is a book for people who like keynotes this book was introduced to me by uh, one of one of the persons who, who, who i was uh, quite inspired by in my college days his name was farooq master he, he he inspired me he in fact gifted me this book herring uh, condensed herring the materia medica and dunham's materia medica in my third year and um, he wanted me to read it and i started reading these books during my third year crazy you know i was like a crazy mad guy people felt this guy is gone crazy pagal ho gaya <laughs> you know everyone is finding ways to watch a uh, spider man and superman and and what are we doing we are studying materia medica and we are trying to you know cure patients and and go in depth and study different different books interesting no our life is also so you can see very beautifully here 
what is the beauty about lippi and you know i i don't want to teach you about the remedy i don't want to teach you about the books i want to tell you what is the important thing just one or two clinical hints i just want to you know push you towards getting this book all these book either have to be in your software or i would like it to be on your table order it make this as your christmas gift for yourself okay get all these books keep in your table read it read it read it fall in love again it's just love love and love that will take you to the next level love is the remedy as they say yeah. so what is about lippi no uh, it's a very interesting it's a, it's a collection of different keynotes of different authors for example first line for extreme sensitiveness of puberty pregnancy and climacteric a a means allen so it has allen's keynote is given then it's written i'll show you nausea and vomiting when closing the eyes hr which means herring then it's written luminous vibration before eyes given by borik so what he has done is he gives keynote and then the author who has given it so it's a very in another symptom hysteria during puberty given by copper thwait absolutely so if you you know you know i one of the things that i kind of am not very fond of is people who come up with new new theories um and straight away start teaching it what i want the young homeopaths the 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 senior homeopaths to actually focus on is classical homeopathy what i really want is go back to history look at so amazing results why did they get so amazing results why are we not getting because they were more with fact they were more with deep data they were more with surety and not with theory so that's why i want to bring classical homeopathy back in fashion that's my that's my passion to bring um a uh, classical homeopathy back in fashion well, this is like a poem huh? to bring classical homeopathy back into fashion is my passion oh that's like a rap yeah whatever that is <laughs> interesting so we studied different different books after this after this the next book and today i was just explaining to couple of people who are uh, studying with me in my clinic the next and the one of the most lesser known books which i am very fond of is clark's dictionary of practical materia medica john henry the clark nadia writes this would have been amazing if it was face to face class are is it any less than face to face or what you can see my face the only thing is i can't see you guys face maybe maybe we can find some way by which we can see each other's face at some point hopefully <laughs> so clark's dictionary practical materia medica this is and you know clark's writings are are collected writings from not only clark but clark cooper cooper is also someone who someone who i am very fond of and i will talk about cooper's story later on burnett burnett is also someone who i do a lot of burnett approach in my cases borick also so clark writes a lot you know for example in today's generation one of the very good homeopaths um Doctor um, Amar Singh Nikam in 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 India in 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 a place called as Pune. This man is a master of Clark Dictionary Practical Material. So how to read Clark Dictionary Practical? I want to teach you how to read. I don't want to teach you. Okay, read this book. Go and read this book. I am not that. I want to show you. When you open Clark, there are many many things. One of the very important thing is causation. देखो ऐसा लिखा है. all the causation of heridion is from sea traveling so if you are seeing a man who is after sea traveling coming in a boat gets a lot of nausea a lot of vomiting a lot of vertigo the first remedy is heridion after washing clothes very important remedy is heridion dekho clark and then and the most important thing that i want you to read in in clark is characteristics characteristics is the most important thing that i want to do for example clark writes there are two well marked key notes of which most often you will see 
the indication one of them is extreme sensitiveness to noise and second is worse on closing the eyes these two are the main keynotes according to clark interesting no and then he writes many many beautiful cases for example he writes a case of chakraborty he writes that chakraborty was treating a case of headache which was cured with uh, uh, with theridion where the patient had lot of nausea and vomiting uh, and especially it was aggravated by noise and aggravated closing eyes he was given theridion 3x so like that many many cases are given so this is one book that i will want you to read clark dictionary practical materia medica and after reading the relationships after reading the characteristics go to relationship and they have differentiated this is this is a very important thing i like this this relationship part a lot uh, not just in life but in materia medica relationships are very important pun intended <laughs> read it very beautiful after reading this the next step is you read borik borik materia medica as you know is something that every clinician should know in and out something that i read very very often borik materia medica it's something it just you know i don't have to explain you every year i open a new borik and i start reading it all over again and i keep making notes on it devo and especially in borik give a lot of importance to whatever written in capital sensitive to noise penetrates the body especially the teeth then he writes devo sensitiveness between vertebra avoids the pressure on spine borik another book that i also would like you to read after borik is fatak fatak materia medica fatak is a mixture of borik bogar clark and kent yeah after this after you read all of this then i want you to start studying the source books materia medica pura by hanneman although theridion is not given in this book because uh, theridion was proved by herring so it is given in herring guiding simple i am going to teach you also how to read all this source book a little bit another book allen's materia medica encyclopedia of pure materia medica another book that nowadays i read a lot is called as pulford's graphic drug pictures very beautiful then my teacher dr sankaran soul of remedy very beautiful book also vitul kas also his writing i am very fond of then the book i wrote i hope you get a chance to read this is also not a bad book by a new author <laughs> author who is author who is a friend of all of you so the book is decoding mental rubrics very interesting book where i have explained different different rubrics and pattern of rubrics i hope you read it as well i have also written a book called as materia medica of nosodes and sarcoids and then there is another book art of record writing so these are the different 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 books that i want you to read interesting no so this is a bit of introduction to the advanced course are you all guys ready to take a flight into the advanced course in 2022 2022 nice no 2022 dekho so this is what it is i hope i hope that um, 
you found it interesting but what i want you to do is um, first of all what was your main learning today so this is my email id you can write to me what did you learn today okay you can write to me today after the lecture is over you can write what was your main learning today in today's talk this is my email id gorang@gmail.com this is number 1 okay the next thing i want to tell you is that dr srishti will yeah dr srishti will give you you have to watch about five lectures before the next talk the the, the course starts on 17 jan but before that there are five lectures which are basic lectures that i want you to watch so you should read that you should watch that before we start and you'll get an entire curriculum that i want you to do sorry 7 jan are i made a mistake prajakta aap bhi aise kaise yeah i get confused between 17 and 7 i hope i'm not getting old okay anyway 7 jan okay so you have to watch this five lectures before um, we started and there are many more things i want you to do number one sir please provide the ppt pdf after the lecture yes we'll give you this this every powerpoint will be put up on the website and we'll also share this this particular powerpoint this powerpoint on the whatsapp group dr shrishti on the whatsapp group also puts up cases every day okay you have to solve those cases and write to shrishti the person who gives the maximum answers is going to get a gift from me he could get one of my old books signed by me with nice messages for you as a gift okay so so the cases are put every day so please solve them all of you hello and namaste from mumbai um i'm very very excited to share with you that uh, this december we are launching the advanced course on classical homeopathy so all the homeopaths out there students interns early practitioners students anywhere um this is the thing you need to join it's a weekend course online course you can sit at home and learn in today's times the world has been online um we are going to be talking about 100 polycrest remedies also rare remedies organon repertorization techniques advanced level of case taking also we'll also talk about how to use mother tinctures organ remedies biochemics it's going to be one of its kind homeopaths across the world are are going to be teaching also in this and i'm i'm working on the content of it very very closely with the best minds in homeopathy so um, i really really want every single one of you to join us be a revolution in this field i'm also going to give a lot of homework to all of you so be ready for a lot of training sessions with me also there is a early bird offer so if you register earlier you will get it at a major discounted rate and if you already attended my last course you'll also um, kind of in this early bird offer you'll also get the last course that is a 6 month classical homeopathy course as a guest access we are going to increase it for 6 months so you'll also attend the last course plus this course so it's going to be close to about 200 hours of classical homeopathy at your fingertips for the next 7 8 months it's going to be one of its kind so if you want to be a genuinely good homeopath and a clinician this 200 hours will take you to the next level so forget everything else forget the netflix forget the amazon prime forget the movies forget the stories classical homeopathy at its best just email on the below email id register be a part of revolution every single one of you listening hand on heart join us